Uh, at least uh, on uh, Twitch right now. I'm coming in and I'm checking out uh, the sweet command station to see where um, my crew has gone and what they've brought back for me. And so we're going to take a moment, take a debrief of the commander. And I sometimes like to read the, <laughs> the little lines that come in. But um, in this case, we'll go a little bit quickly. But if you ever have a chance to read some of them, someone can be really, really funny. Um, and or tell a story about what these guys have been through um, getting the stuff that they're getting for you. So um, it looks like they've gotten me a lot of stuff this time. A few units, but a lot of cool stuff like album of pearls and neural ducts and that kind of thing. So cool beans. All right. Now some of this stuff is stuff that can be sold, which is, is kind of exciting. Um, but uh, where am I going to sell it? Well, it seems to me that I should have at least two microprocessors now. The question being where I put them. So um, when and if I get both of them at the same time, I've got one for sure. Um, I'll have to find the other one. Um, then I can make a galactic trade center and from then on anytime I want to get something I can just get it from my freighter um, The only problem with that the rule that I'm establishing for that is that once I make that Cell then I'm gonna have to leave the system that I'm in um, because uh, The ship might be hard to find but I'm gonna have to move along at that point um, but it's worth it to be able to have one's own trade center. You know, I, I think of it kind of like, you know, like, we'll just call it the dark web or something. You know, we're, we're selling it on the black market on my ship. Because this is a privateer kind of ship sort of thing. So that's how we're playing it. It might not be my best, best storyline, but it's what I'm going to say anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to come in at, under the freighter here. And basically, I'm going to dump the pockets here. We got some geodesite. Nice. So we have, we've gotten some from some of that before. Ooh, superconducting. 100,000 there. That's nice. Um, let's see. Sac venom. Always valuable. 200,000 for the re lattice crystal. That's nice. Um, 21. I remember when album and pearls were the thing to get. Ah. They change these things up now and then. I'm like, why? Why? But, you know, they're, that's the hello game kind of, kind of trying to keep things fresh and make sure the economy of the game isn't too, uh, too wonky, I'm sure. Not that I really care about the economy of everybody else. I just want it to work for me. Ha ha ha. But, <laughs> but you know, we have to be fair. This is, this is a game that includes many other people playing, so I guess, all right, fine. So that said, I am um, sending them out again, and we are going to send them on another balance expedition, because that seemed to work pretty well. Um, it looks like we have one one star, and if we send the ones that we have so far, that should give us a two star situation, so then they should come back safely. And that's really what we want at this point until I get a few more ships. What I want to try and do is get a trade ship and a support ship and then maybe uh, then i can decide what other kind but those are the two that i want to get for sure so i'll be keeping my eye out for trade and support um, all right it looks like it did give us a two star fleet rating so let's send these puppies out off they go to do their job of getting us goodies all right so my big plan for for tonight is we're not going to be on super long, I think. I know I always say that and then I end up spending an hour. But I was thinking that um, what I might do is uh, try and use some of these drop, uh, drop pod things that we've got going on here and or look for more inverted mirrors and echo locators. I've got one right here. I'd like to get at least one more, and then I can use that one to do an echolocation kind of thing. Oh, I think I have more uh, exosuits than I started with. 
Um, that's probably for popping those uh, trade goods. Um, the trade goods, one of the reasons that I love the outlaw systems is that you could get your repair kits, you could get your trade goods. Um, we've already, I think, been to the station here, uh, and we know that they don't have passports here, so we'll probably move along on that too. But um, I guess what that means is let's go, let's go fly for a bit. Yes, um, let's take a look and make sure here. Um, if I look in my exosuit, yeah, I've, I've popped like the tech and the trade goods and everything so far that I've had, so. And my finances, let's take a look at that. I'm at two million again. I could sell some of these for, for a, a, a million there. But I think I'll hold off on that and try and accumulate a few more before I do that. Maybe our next system will find some ancient bones. You can always get good money with ancient bones. Yeah. Oh. I do. That is true. All right, we're going to head on down because one of the reasons that we call the two is so that we can have a close resource. So, let's go see if we can find a few inverted mirrors. I still think it's funny that this planet is called A Song. Yep. Scanning. Keeping an eye out for the inverted mirror um, and any other goodies. Now we can't shoot the radiant. Uh, we can. We can. Actually, we can shoot them. We're just not going to get anything from it. We can shoot the ground. Get a few things from there. That might actually be worth doing because I tend tend to need stuff. Um. You have to get kind of low to the ground to shoot things out. Like rock and, and carbon. And, um, deuterium and that kind of thing. I'm just generically looking for an inverted mirror. But trying not to go too fast because I want them to kind of load in. Does that look like that might be? Nope, that's just, just a radiant filler over there. Oh, that's, that's a metal right there. It was shiny, so I had a moment of, ooh, what's that? It looks like there's some meteors doing their meteor thing right there. Okay, I my I'm looking for like the inverted mirrors, and y you know this is a barren enough planet. You think you'd be able to find it easy? No, no, you know <laughs> it's just not sticking out really well here. And I, and I don't know if it's because it's so purple that I'm just not seeing it. And what's really funny, what you can't see me doing is holding my remote really close to my chest. <laughs> Need to calm down here. Maybe, maybe I do need to be a little closer. 
There's one, there's one. Again? Are you serious? I don't want to go too far. Oh, that's right. We were gonna try with a with an interceptor to do this because interceptors will float, and then you could just kind of hang there and shoot. But no, I I am so good at this. <laughs> Let's come up. Okay, I think what I need to do is come up and then around and shoot from higher up is what I think. Yeah, that's that's the ticket. You gotta start higher. I was too low. You gotta find it low, but shoot shoot from high. I got an echo locator! I got one. Now, it is my understanding that on barren planets, they really don't show up a lot. So, um, if we want to camp, we're going to have to go into another system with a corrupted planet that's on, say, like a Bountiful or any other kind of planet than barren. Um, it's easier to find inverted mirrors on ba barren planets and shoot them there because um, then you can just come up and down on them. But um, it's um, harder to find a camp and and a ship, therefore, because there's no no real houses on the on a barren planet for you to find. So that that's the reason to go looking um, on a different planet. So we're gonna take a moment, see if we can find another inverted mirror. If we can, then we will. But I'm not going to spend too long on it because I got the one I asked for. And so. This is just me taking a moment. In fact, what I might do is stop and get some more radiant. And we've got. Uh, Well, I, I found another, you know, I found the other echolocator, but now I'm going to shoot some of the radiant pillars, not pillars, radiant shards, radiant shards. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is just to make sure I have some um, for when we get the next ship, just to... Right, we're supplying up is what we're doing real quick. The At Atlantidium is how I've been pron pronouncing it. Like Ant Atlanta and then Dium. Right, because you have to have at least one inverted, inverted mirror, and you have to have some r radiant shards, and you have to have Atlantidium. Oh. What's that? Unidentified mineral. It might be worth doing this anyway. All right, dust and carbon. All right, dust and carbon. It is cool, and it's good to know. I mean, um, not that I've ever seen anyone um, get a start on a barren planet, but it's nice to know that it's there to be had if you need it. Yeah, that was that was some easy money right there. Yeah, yep, that was probably like oxygen or or. Uh, there's no animal here because this is a barren planet, so you're not gonna find um, plants in general except for things that you would always find, like sodium, oxygen, that kind of thing. 
you can identify those, um, but they don't really count towards, um, like, a floral count, per se. Um, I... Yeah, enough to get money, but not necessarily a lot otherwise, yeah. Alright, now I've just remembered why we can't fly. <laughs> or should not fly on this world. Or let me rephrase that. Other people who are better at flying could probably do it. But if I get going, I forget, and then it lands real hard, and then we're all sad. So, <laughs> we're going to be a little more careful on that one. Copper deposit. I think I do. Let me take a look. Yeah, I have 300 chromatic metal. We're, we're doing all right that way. Maybe another couple of radiant uh, shards here. So let me let me get that over there. Now the other nice thing about barren planets is that you're not struggling with like your atmosphere. You you do have to know that your life support is going to go like twice as fa twice as fast. No, no, just run, just run. No fly. <laughs> There's the... No atmosphere to stop you. Yeah, exactly. So you could go very, very high. Which is fun and normal. It is not fun in permadeath. <laughs> or I guess you could say it's fun, but it might be the last fun you have. So, you know. <laughs> be careful. Yep. All right, so <laughs> there's that. A few more over there, and then I can shoot the ground a little more, and then I guess we'll call it. You know. I do like the purple crystals quite a bit. I do think they're pretty, and it'd be fun if there was like a glitch version of them that you could could put somewhere. Did I, did I walk right by the sodium? I, well, I'll tell you what, I'm afraid that I can't even begin to tell where it's at. <laughs> oh, I see it, okay, all right. Yeah, oh, there's also a, a little, we'll have to wait a moment. So it's not looking right at me. <laughs> We'll pretend that we're going farther away from it than we are. Well, you know, these, uh, these little pink rocks here, okay, if they look like they're a little funny, it's because if you get up close, you can see that there are sentinels, broken sentinels here with fragments on them. Well, you can. There, it's Atlantidium. They're the remnants of the um, sentinel that broke up, creating all these little crystals that we're seeing here. Yes, so these are, these are sentinels that did not make it, so to speak. Um, so there must have been a great big battle here. Yeah, I have 38 here, but I, I'm pretty sure my starship has more than that because we've been... It has 156 here. So we'll shoot some more on the ground because it's just a little more efficient. And and this is, this is really the best world to do a shooty on the ground kind of thing. You're not hurting any animal. You're just getting the rocks and whatever the rocks are. But I'll tell you, it's what makes scanning the rocks worth it, because now when I, I start shooting the ground, I'll not only get ferrite, I will get um, carbon. And um, depending on the rock, sometimes you can get oxygen, or depending on the planet, sometimes you can get oxygen. But I didn't see any, see any this time. Well, there is. They're, they're in the little, there are little oxygen plants around. Alright, 
so let's head back to the ship. And on the way to the ship, we'll do some scanning and shooting. Scanning and shooting. I think I got all the rocks. Yeah, I think so, yeah. No, it's just the orange of the... It looks like it should be an oxygen plant, but it's just a reflection of the orange. Some of them are saying oxygen? Well then, there must be a rock. Well, cool. They grab a Tino ball in the distance. More right, more right, okay. Okay, that one's the uh, Whispering Egg. Well, let's do this. Oh, we'll let the scanner charge. Because it means it is there, it's just... Fine. Oh, there they are. Oh, with the plus. They are there. Oxygen-rich plant. You know, that might be worth going and scanning anyway for the money. Just head on that, just to see what they look like. Oh, I forgot my, my jetpack's better. My jetpack is better. It's a little less dangerous. Yep, you're right. There's... Yeah. Yes, it does. Well, it kind of has to, you know, coming back to if you're stuck on the planet. Yeah, I, I recognize it. Um, well, no, I figure, I mean, there's probably good stuff in it. And we got us a little field of oxygen over here. Now oxygen is good for life support and being in the water, and making carbon in a pinch. So, yeah, it's always good to have a good handful of it. It heard us saying oxygen. All right, we gotta let's see if we can scan in here. See what we got: cobalt and silver. Well, that's not so bad. We don't have an immediate need for cobalt, so I'm not gonna go in there. But at least now we got some for the metal, for the money for it. I think one of the cool things about the scanners is that you can earn cash and we now have two and a half million where before we did not. So that was a, I feel like that was a good exchange for, for um, being here for the time. Yep. All right. So I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to get up into the air, but not too far. Yeah, shoot Grant. Okay, I, I will. Before I leave the planet, we'll take a real quick check. That seems 
sodium. Atlantidium. There's the carbon. <laughs> this is yeah. If you're wondering how you have they they have had a lot. This is how they've had a lot. They, just, they find a barren planet and go to town. And you just have to get close enough to the ground that it, it will pick up. And I think the step that some of them missed is you have to scan. If you scan, then you can get all the stuff that you're getting. Oh, that I got something there. Somehow I got the radiant filler. Not filler, radiant shard, but is it because I've been too far or? Maybe it wasn't a shard. It was not a shard. It must have been something else. Well, I just did. Something popped me, but I don't know what it was. Yeah, I'll see if I can get get it. Ah, uh, they're trying to find me. Alright, now I've lost it, but... I'm not seeing it anymore. I kind of lost it there. Oh, I did? Right, right. There's only two. With the, with the inverted mirror um, mining device, you only get... Um, you only get inverted mirrors or echolocators, yeah. So there's only two items that you'll get from them. Well, that's nice. That'll work out really well, then. Alright, well, I think we've got our extras that we were gonna get. They come out in two space here. Let's take a quick look at our, our inventory. Look at all that ferrite. That's a lot of ferrite. We got uh, 213 Atlantidium, two inverted mirrors, and two echolocators. So I feel like that was a pretty good run. Yeah, that was. We got carbon and sodium. That's stuff we can use, so that'll come in handy. All right, let's go to the galaxy map. We're, we're just going to follow along the galactic core. That's actually been working really well for us. And see if we can't find another, um, um, yeah, pirate slash dissonant system. But mostly pirate. We're looking for pirate here. It, it, it'll take us a little bit, but we're, you know, we've, it just means getting close enough. All right, so we don't have an indium drive, but we can now free, free search. And I'm gonna try and go slow, but sometimes the cursor goes faster than me. Right, so I really want a yellow star if I can find one. We got a dissonant over here. We got a dissonant. Now we have a rule in our particular one. It can be pirate or dissonant. And if you get a dissonant, then what that means is there's no communication between the space station. We can't use a teleporter in the space station. We can't talk to like the, um, like the salespeople. 
But what we can do is go into the station in the dissonance system. That's the rule we've had since the beginning, before we knew that there were other rules. So, that we were not supposed to do that. So we are going to follow our own rules on this one. If you like this one, I say go for it. If you don't, you don't have to follow it, but I'm just letting you know what ours is. So, we, we are scoring with this. So off we go. Oh, no. Just a second. I pressed the wrong button. No. It took me out. Ah, I found it again. Oh. <laughs> I found it. We're going. Well, I can press the A button instead. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was like, no. Oh. It's because it's kind of, it's a little rare for us to find just a regular old dissonant. We usually find the outlaw dissonant, which is fine, but I have a something I really, really want to do while I'm here. Well, two somethings, I guess. <laughs> And we can't really talk to the sales people, but we could talk to like the captains and the regular folk around. And the reason is sales people have access to other equipment. But the regular folk they... Yes, well that's essentially true. I'm looking for a traveler. Yes. Very much, yes. Yeah. Ooh, I got a tritium up hypergrad. Sometimes I don't exactly shoot at the, <laughs> the asteroids. I just let the ship hit them. Just because, you know, you get this random, you've got silver, or you've got a uh, tritium hypergore, you know. Um, All right, now we won't stay long here, because um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step off, and then I'm going to step back in, and then we're going to go call the freighter in. Um, well, I guess we're going to take a moment and see if there's a... Yes, yes, it's, it's, that's why we came in. I'm just a normal Corvax in a normal Corvax system. Da, 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 da. Not ta not talking to anyone, but maybe there's someone who's a little lost like I am. <laughs> Look, someone said hi fellow Corvax. Hi fellow Corvax. <laughs> oh, there's no one. That's okay. class fighter. I have to admit I didn't even bother looking at the quality of the place. I was like, yes, dissonant. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to call it good here. I'm going to go. Yeah. There's rarely people on the other side, which I think is really kind of weirdly interesting, because you would think they would be, you know, but it's, it's how they do here. All right, so this system has three planets. So we have one of these three planets is going to be the dissonant planet, probably. Now, we've been in a dissonant system where there were only two planets, and yet neither of them were dissonant. So we're, we're going to think good thoughts because we actually want a dissonant planet that happens to be not barren so that we can get a, a camp. But we're going to call it good here because I wasn't planning on playing super long anyway. And this gives me a good excuse to just call it good for here. Okay, ship's coming in. But we're, we're being good. All right, we jumped in and out. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, I do 